How you guys? We are back. My name is Ron, and we are doing a move on today. I got spaghetti and cheese. So, like, subscribe, and thumbs up this video. with cheese on it and all that. My two favorite things. I'm waiting on the wife to cut this. She surprised me with this. It's all spaghetti, but this how you man. It got to be cheese on top. I want to eat it. Comment how you eat yours or how you make yours. Let me know. See, I like a lot of it. Go around like that. And go to the bottom. So you know that way. That's it. That's it all Uh oh. <laughs> I was on the face, man. Shut up. You got spaghetti on your beard. What y'all eat? Baked, baked spaghetti or what?
tell you, you don't fuck with spaghetti, you ain't eating it right. You gotta get that thing in there. Let sauce run all on your mouth and stuff. Why you do it like this? Christmas hat on. Wrong breakfast for one. You gotta swoop around like that. Make sure nothing don't fall off the end of it. Hmm. I'm just trying to let it go, girl. I got food. Put that scoop in it. See, I did it. Get all the sauce and stuff. Mm -hmm. it up on that thing. I have some questions from from some of the subscribers. I wasn't gonna answer them. I'm gonna let them answer. Let you answer them on your video. You ready to start? Them? I'm ready, girl. What is your zodiac sign? Oh, I'm a cancer, so I'm a crab. Do you have a crab and a bear mentality or no? See. Yeah. A crab in a barrel? Do you know what a crab in a barrel mentality means? No, I ain't got that now. I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, take for nobody. Oh, okay. I'm about try to get off on nobody or nothing like that. But you know, my sign means like, I'm, I could be your bestest friend and all that. I'm somebody you depend on and all that. We wasn't the nicest person. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You got to read up on it, girl. We ain't like y'all gym that. You better watch You better I, watch I, it. I, I ain't no offense, but you know what I'm saying. from? I'm originally from South Carolina. Florence, South Carolina. How long did you stay? Explain to the people how long were you there before you came here to Florida? Let me see. I was like, before I came to Florida, I was like 12, 11, somewhere around that. <coughs> My daddy from here. You know what I'm saying? So, we used to come here and visit and all that. So I, living in South Carolina so long, I wanted to know what Florida was like. So um, the older I got, my daddy had moved us down here from South Carolina. Started going to school. That was like a middle school when I started. My 
I got a Florida. Where did you meet Avis? I met Avis down to my cousin. I didn't even know Ava was over there. I met Ava through a lie, to be honest. I ain't never seen Ava. My sister saw Ava before I saw her. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even know Ava was over there. You know what I'm saying? So my cousin ran over there and said, a girl wanted to meet me. And she told Ava the same thing, that a boy wanted to uh, meet her. You know what I'm saying? But me and Avis ain't know nothing about each other. I ain't even seen Avis. I ain't even know Avis was over there. So, before I went over there to my cousin's house, I had ran over to my other cousin's house, where my sister was, and she, she saw Avis, and I asked her a question, like, how she looked and all that, and my sister was like, she a pretty red girl with freckles and all that, and this and that, and so I ran back over to the house, Changed my clothes, walked over there, trying to see, you know what I'm saying? I was acting like I was going to see my cousin, you know what I'm saying? But I saw Ava sitting on the porch, she had a little magazine in her hand. I saw a peep, you know what I'm saying, on the side of her, but she still denied it to the J. But I saw a peep through the side, went in the house. I think I, no, I did, I went in the house? I think her mama called me in the house. Asked me who I was and all that. It's like I'm slicking all that. I'm talking about, so you trying to come over here and see my daughter. Like I told her, I ain't even know your daughter was over here. You know what I'm So she had called Avis in the house and set us down. And that was like the first time I saw Avis. I should have known. You know what I'm saying? It was like a, a slick little mouth girl when I first met her. You know what I'm saying? So I guess it was a little flirt. The first time I called Avis was that same day I saw her. And she was like, who is this and how you got my number? And my cousin gave it to me. Told me that it was wanting me to call her the same day. But she said that was the last, so. From there, that's the other history. And whoever knows. So I thank my cousin today. My cousin Rico. Today. For hooking us up. On, even though it was a lie, but. I thank her today for hooking us up. Would you start your own YouTube channel? Um, and what made you start you, um, YouTube with me? Well, see, what started with, uh, I was really shy when I first started with A. I was scared to get on the camera and all that. And she always just tell me, it's me and you here, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I used to be, like, scared, like, to be on camera and all that. I don't know why, but I, I was just scared, and soon later I started getting used to it and all that. But who ever know? I, I like it, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I see, when I started, like later on when I got used to it, I see what my wife was going through and all this on YouTube and all that, and I was just trying to help her out, like, to... That's my wife, I'm her husband, so we gonna do this together. That's how I saw it. She love it, I'm gonna do it with her. Even though I'm scared, you know what I'm saying, nervous, and I'm gonna do it with her. We won, so, just like you, you like it, I'm with you. What about I, in my own YouTube channel, I don't know. I thought about it, but I really don't know. What do I go through on YouTube? Hmm? What do I go through on YouTube? I'm, I'm talking about just like the, the drama and all that. Like, I, I feel like, yeah, we all human, but I think, like, it shouldn't be like people on there trying to bash you and all that on me or this to get ratings and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Put your business out there. You, I, when my wife first started, I remember when she first started, it was fun for her, you feel me? She ain't had to worry about all that fashion and all that, you know what I'm saying? It was just fun, she was doing her thing. But now, it's like, that that take the fun out of YouTube. Cause I feel like the YouTube that, the people that do YouTube, they ain't just doing it for themselves. They're doing it to help you 
like with hair or mood bars or this and that. You just don't know. I, I, I sit back and watch my wife for what see what she has to go through to make these videos. So I can fit I, I imagine what every YouTube has to go through, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just don't know. But I from there when she started for now, I think she like got better and better the more she did it. You know what I'm saying? But some of y'all just take the fun out of it and make people wanna quit. That's why I say I don't know about me starting okay. my own channel because I know how I am and I ain't, I ain't with that bull. I, I, I be like, man, bump that, you can shut that down. Cause I ain't with that. Because if I want drama, I could be, you know what I'm saying, fight in the streets. I ain't got to be on YouTube to find drama. Especially when I ain't messing with you and I'm trying to do my own thing, make my own living with this, you know what I'm saying? And I'm loving what I'm doing. I shouldn't be have to deal with the people on here like, with the negative comments, man, you got negative comments, stay to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Like, really. Like, you got to make videos about somebody else just to come up. Come on, man. That, that That's petty. That's childish. All us grown on here. So we don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Find your own way. Don't try to... Don't try to get big off somebody else. The same way they did it on their own, the same way you could do it on your own. That's how I see it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you know you don't get comments about this. This is not a question, but um, I'm reading through the, qu the questions now, but you know you don't get comments about this or shit talking about your fingernails. Explain them about your fingernails right now, which, you I mean, you could have did it before then, but you can go ahead and say what you got to say. I work outside. Every day, all day. And you just got home maybe 30 minutes ago. I just got home. I just got home. Yeah, I read the comments over here and there, dirty. You don't know what I've been doing that day before I got on camera. You don't love my life. You, you, you can't tell me about that. That was wrong with a lot of people now. You criticize what you don't know. You talk before you find out what's going on. You judge people quicker than you trying to find out how they is or what. You find the pettiest thing just to down somebody. Just to down it, say something negative about that video. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, these YouTubers working their behinds off. They show y'all what they go through and all this. Do video for you and all. You know what I'm saying? And y'all go out, go people go in there like some that's like, hey, I ain't saying no. You know what I'm saying? Cause the the ones that are dedicated, hey, I love y'all to death. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't putting it towards you. I'm just talking about the negative ones that like just come on channels and just to bash somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard work doing this. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy. Because you got to edit this. You got to edit that. Or oh, I want this in the video. I don't want this in the video. I got to take that out. You know what I'm saying? I got to find another way to do this and do that. You know what I'm saying? People work hard for it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the people that on here with the negative vibe, y'all need to go somewhere else with that. And that's for like, every YouTube ain't got time for that cause they got their own problems. They human just like us. We all human. So, ain't nobody got no other time for somebody to come on social media and trying to bash them and trying to talk about this or trying to find a little petty stuff. Man, that's that's childish. You just, you must be ain't got nothing else to do with your life. And I work hard, so you can talk about my nails all you want. You feel me? But hey, as long as you he watch He came in the house. He, ain't got nothing to do with he had a lot to say, but he came, just came right in the house. It was 30 minutes ago, and he sat down to, and just started eating. He washed his hands, and he ate. Nobody ain't got time to spend time at the pick same, my damn nails picking no shit. damn nails. My husband ready to eat. He left his house 6 30 this morning and just got home. Uh, damn near 8 30. Um, just yeah, 8 30. We he we didn't have to explain nothing, but hey, we addressed it. Like everybody wanted to know how wrong where he come from and how he is and all this and what made him get on YouTube with Avis and all this. So I'm giving y'all that exclusive while I'm eating. You know what I'm saying? Y'all eat with me, watching this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting you know where I come from, where I'm trying to go. 
You know what I'm saying? That negative stuff, it don't bother me because I was taught, man. You can talk about me all you want. You ain't here paying my bills. You ain't raising my kids. As long as my family happy and I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as a man, that all will count. You can talk about my nails, my skin, my speech. You know what I'm saying? My daughter talk like this, so hey, it come natural. You feel me? So you can talk about my speech, how I talk, and all. That do not bother me. So I'm letting y'all know all the rest. That do not bother me. I'm still be on here. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And keep doing what I'm doing because you ain't going to stop me. I'm going to still be a man at the end of the day. That ain't going to stop me. You know, I ain't going to be on here. Oh, they said this and they said that. Man, I don't care about that. Hey, I feel like this. You talk about me, I must be somebody special. Next question. What a time stay on the camera. I can't see the book. I kind of, I kind of wrap it up. Anyway, the next question: Will you see yourself in five years? In five years? Most likely on my own business, keeping my family happy. We got a good house, but I want a better one. You feel me? I want my kids not to worry about nothing. I want them to struggle like I did. Or where I came from. I want them to be happy. I want my wife to be happy. I want me to be happy. Even though I'm happy, but you know what I'm saying? I want us in a better place. Emotional wise, spiritual wise, and all. Financial wise, we good, but I want to be better. That's it. Alrighty. Well, the rest of it's on you. Oh, well. Man. Y'all got more questions? Put in uh, comment. comment below. I ask any, I answer any questions you want to know about me. Okay. Like I, I still get nervous when I'm on camera now. So I'm not used to it. I'm warming up to it. That's why I say with the channel thing, me have my own channel. I don't know. I really don't know. I thought about it, like I said, but hmm, I don't know. Cause I know how my mouth feels and all this. Like it don't bother me, but when it comes to my family and all that, and trying to put out information out and like that, I ain't with that. Cause that's my family, and that's put my family in danger. So that that's a problem to me. They come down to that, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to see Rome on no channel. Because that's crazy. If they got to go that far, you won't you, you won't see me on the channel. I'd rather be off the channel. And then what you going to have to talk about? Nothing. I, I tell my wife that, man, bump this. You hear me? If it, if it stress her out, I tell her quit like, quit, cause it ain't worth it. She do it because she love y'all and she love doing it. She love the hustle scrap. She love the calm, the comments and all that. You know what I'm saying? She love to hear what y'all say or uh, what y'all ask her or uh, her advice and all that. She love it. She do it because she love y'all. She do it because she love it. I do it because I love her and I love y'all too. The one that's, you know what I'm saying, there for her. 
rest of them, you know what I'm saying, with the bug. I don't give a huh, poop nanny. <coughs> well, y'all, I answered your question. I ate with y'all. But it's time for Rome to go. You know what I'm saying? We'll have another Rome versus Fool coming soon. We still got that octopus to do in mm-hmm. and a squid. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many. Oh, somebody I requested for you to do a seafood boy and also oysters. Nah, I can get down with the oysters, you know what I'm saying? Give me a little hot sauce, you know, that good. You, you know, got one to see Ron do oysters? I do that. I eat them all okay. day. Okay, okay. Oh, excuse me, man. Oh, for right. Exactly. <laughs> If y'all want to see Brown do oysters, be sure to comment in the comment section by letting us know that you want to see him do oysters or do you want to see him do a seafood boil. So let us know and hopefully we'll have it up very soon for you guys. So I might on. have to bring my stuff in with it. Go ahead and close it out. Thank y'all for tuning in. Subscribe. Like. And let me know more what y'all want me to do.